Well, now this being older and wiser now means being richer. Americans over 55 now own 72 percent of the nation's wealth as, as people under 55 see stagnant growth. Jerry Willis <laughs> joins me now. So, Jerry, how is this impacting the election coming uh, the presidential election big time it is a potential game changer David these trends are pushing younger and younger voters to Trump a new Fox News poll showing the former president with a 13 point lead over President Biden with voters under 30 now citing the economy as one of their biggest concerns they are taking a different view to, towards the presidency here's a report though I got to tell you these numbers sure to fire some generational angst America's wealth is concentrated among older people. Households aged 70 and over own 30 percent of the nation's wealth, while those aged 55 to 69 own 42 percent. Together, this 46.7 percent of the nation's households, but 72 percent of the booty. Meanwhile, the 25 percent of American households aged 40 to 54 own just 20 percent of the nation's wealth, while folks under 40 get under 7 percent. Together, these two groups are 53.3 percent of all households, but just 27 percent of the wealth. Now, to be sure, the strong stock market and rising housing valuations post-COVID helped older Americans, but they have also had decades to reap the rewards of stock investment and home ownership. Listen. Young persons who, who haven't had the time to, to save money and to buy a home, they are not seeing that same kind of increase in wealth. But existing homeowners, uh, it has been an absolute boom for them. And of course, younger Americans are facing major headwinds, right? We talk about it all the time, high college costs, high interest rates, high, high housing prices. But it's not like boomers had it easy. The average boomer has faced six recessions, Four major Thank bear you. markets. Thank you. And mortgage Thank rates you. <laughs> were as high as 18% for these folks. Wow. So Speaking they've for had the to fight it out themselves. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there is a kind of a generational shift with regard to how you view work uh, and savings, can, right? Can, can I weigh in a little bit? Sure. Younger people buy like the $7 Starbucks coffee every day and they Amazon everything. So they're buying things. As soon as they need it, they it's go. it's spending patterns right. that are. We don't also mean to we don't mean to dump on this. anybody. The, the times are but tough. But we're going to dump a little bit. Yes, right. just no. a little. Thank you, thank you, ladies.